time this part probably I was going to go for a streetcar ride but it just left and it's about 40 minute wait for the next one so that's okay I can go walk around in the museum for a little while um we've already gone to the farmer's market wanted to just get a few things which I did uh stopped in at Fat Frank's as well and the park that I normally sit at is actually either some kind of music festival or movie festival or something going on there today. I don't know what the hell. I didn't hear the woman that announced it properly, but she said properly, so yeah, it's okay. Okay, I have about 10, 15 more minutes to waste until the next uh, streetcar comes back here because I'm going to do the round trip. I really want to do the round trip today. It'd probably take about 40 minutes there and back, and it totally be worth the trip and worth the six dollars that I'll be spending. Because even on, um, like for an hour and a half on normal regular transit, there's no way in hell you can even, like for like an hour and a half, you can't even go on for six six dollars. So. And just the scenery and being on a piece of history that was lovingly and painstakingly restored will totally be worth it.
cross the river on the ferry, and then you'd be at the bottom of this hill here. And you can see how steep it is. Horses were not strong enough to pull a loaded coach up that hill. So you had to get out, take your luggage, and trudge your own way up that hill. Once you got to the top of the hill, you'd board the coach again, and it would be a five-day trip to Calgary. You would sleep in luxury in the first night in a barn in Wetaskiwin. The remaining nights, you would sleep out either out in the field or underneath the coach. It was also a very expensive journey. It would cost you about one month's wage, and you had to bring all your own food. Now the next attraction on our trip is going to be our tunnel. This, believe it or not, was actually the only tunnel on the Canadian Pacific Line in Alberta. All of Canadian Pacific's yeah. other tunnels were actually on the west side of the BC border. Now once we're inside the tunnel, you will see it also operates as Edmonton's alternative art gallery. Thank <laughs> you. 
Stop for now. Have a good day. 